A recent piece on my late father in the Wisdom India Almanac was titled Luck by Talent. And that perhaps exemplifies uh, Dilip Sardesai's story. My father at the age of 17 had never played on a turf wicket in his life. He was born in Goa, played all his early cricket in Goa, which at the time was ruled by the Portuguese. So it had absolutely no cricketing legacy to speak of. Yet four years later, he was playing for India, having moved to Mumbai at the age of 17. And just think about it. India has never before or since produced a Goa-born cricketer. To my mind, that exemplifies the kind of journey that my father had to make. He often used to tell me, you've got it all. You've got the facilities, you've got the legacy, you've got the opportunity. But my friend, you don't have the talent and you don't have the fire in the belly. And he was right. To make it to the top, you need fire in the belly. In 1962, my father went as a 21-year-old to the West Indies. Nari contractor got hit on the head. No one wanted to open the batting. My father put up his hand. Had he not opened at the time, he perhaps would have averaged even more. In fact, purely as a middle order batsman, he almost averaged 45 in test cricket, which was remarkable for that time. The fact though is that eventually he became a middle order batsman only really in 1971. Went to the West Indies again and became, as history puts it, the renaissance man of Indian cricket by scoring 642 runs in that series. I want to share a little story with you. Just a few months ago, I was in Bhubaneswar at the airport. The CISF person comes to me and says, Sir, please come to the VIP lounge. I thought, great, he's recognized me from TV. Next thing I know, he turns around and says, Dilip Sardesai's son, Dilip Sardesai, 212 Kingston. If 44 years after he played that historic innings, people still remembered it, it must have been a very special moment, a very special year for Indian cricket. One of my enduring misfortunes is I never saw him bat in a test match. I was told he was terrific against spin. He wasn't the greatest fielder, but he was always someone who was ready for a fight. That's how I'd like to think of my late father. As a cricketer who came from a small town who loved life as much as he loved cricket. That's the way I'd like to see my old man as he celebrates his 75th birthday up there somewhere. I'm sure he's having his favorite prawn curry and rice. Thanks for the memories.